just got Farming Simulator 25 and you're ready to put some mods on it because you want custom vehicles or you want something different, stay tuned. Alright, so you just got FS25 and you're kind of, I don't know, maybe you went and played with the in-game models or vehicles or whatever and now you're bored with them and you want some different stuff well you can do that in game you can actually download mods in game so from the main menu you're going to want to go to downloadable content and you can kind of browse through here now at the time of this video it's kind of early on so they haven't really added much yet but we have our basic categories here we've got just the categorized stuff we've got our best top mods basically the most downloaded the latest mods and then recommended which in time this will populate more okay so what else we have here we have the mods that are installed this will show us everything that's installed right now i just have the mcdon pack anything that needs an update will show up here so if you want to update your mods from here you can do that uh, dlcs that you have active will be in here and then the extra content, so like this New Holland pack or any of the little things that you could buy that add vehicles to the game. Okay. So to download a mod, we'll go ahead and find us a tractor. Okay, so we got a few mods here to choose from. And to download it, you can click it. Double click it here. Right? And then if you want it, hit install. Hit OK. Now if we go down here to... Oh, it looks like it downloaded faster than I could show you. Let's see if we can find one that will take a little bit longer. I think this one's got a little size to it. And it shows you some information about it, the rating, all that good stuff. So we'll go ahead and install this. And there should be a little progress bar right there. Can't. Oh, it went away before you could see it. But it'll show a little progress bar down in the corner as it downloads. Pretty cool, right? Uh, will it let me download more than one? I don't think so. I think I have to do it one at a time. Now, if you do it in multiplayer, oh, there you go. Kind of saw it there. In multiplayer, if you go to a server and the uh, mods are available on the mod hub, you can click details and then download all mods, and it'll show you progress for each download, which that is new for FS25. Seeing the progress bars on downloads is awesome. Now, they did kind of have something in uh, 22, but it wasn't, it wasn't very obvious. But yeah, so that's how you download mods in game. And then once you got all these mods downloaded, you can go ahead and go back to the main menu. And you can continue one of your games or you can create a new one. So let's say we want to continue one. I don't think I had any mods on this one. No. Okay, see how they're not selected? Now if I want to just select them. Now you can do select all. Right? Deselect all. Or you can just, uh, let's see, I double click. Yeah, I can double click on the computer or uh, just the, whatever the select button is on console. So this works for console as well. Okay, and then uh, we'll go ahead and just select all. And then you just start the game and that'll load those into the game and you're good to go. All right, let's say you create a new save, same, uh, no, let me get some money so I can buy stuff. Same, same process and you can deselect all, select all, and then start. All right, so once the game is loaded up, we'll go ahead and enter the game. Oop, enter the game here. Oh, I'm not gonna worry about all this. Okay, now if we go into the vehicle shop, which you can do by going over here to the vehicle, where is it at? Right here, vehicle shop. Now you can walk up to this trigger if you'd like or you can hit P as in purchase, either one works, or whatever it is on console. Okay, so you've got these new mods and you've got all these other, they're all here, like, ugh, what do you do? Okay, so if we go to this icon here that looks like three servers stacked on top of each other with a down arrow, we have our mods and DLCs, okay? So all the mods that we have downloaded will show up in here, any DLCs we have, uh, Sorry, activated. They have to be activated when we checked them in the beginning. If they're not activated, they won't show here. But anyway, once they're 
activated that will show up in here so that you can easily find the mods that you got. And then you can buy them from here. So yeah, that's how you get the mods into the game. Now, let's say you're a PC user. Now this doesn't, this next part does not work for consoles. So if you're a console player, appreciate you watching. You should get a PC because PCs are awesome. But that's fine. A lot of folks don't like it. Anyway, so this next part is for PC users. And I'm going to go a little more in detail how you can add mods, like third-party mods, stuff like that. All right, let's close the game. I'll be right back. All right, now, if, if we want the official mods, this is the safest place to get mods. Uh, anywhere else, uh, I mean, you, you can find some good ones, but you need to be careful what you're downloading because we have seen some malicious stuff happen in the past, and you can download a mod that will delete all of your saves, all of your mods, everything in your, pretty much everything in your farm sim folder, and then it basically makes it for a really bad day so be extra careful on what you're downloading and uh anyway so to get to the mods here on the farming sim farming dash simulator.com website you go to mods okay and it'll show fs25 mods here by default and you have category you can do latest top downloaded prefabs categories which prefabs are only for like maps and such uh, categories, so you can kind of see. Oh, they they updated the categories. Nice. Okay. Okay. So we got more. Oh, European maps, North American maps. That's cool. Nice. Okay. So the categories are getting updated. Anyway, so you find the mod that you're looking for. Let's say we want this one. We hit more info. And you kind of see some screenshots on it, all that good stuff. And then we can download it which doesn't take very long. Once it's downloaded, you can click here and open it up to here or however your web browser is set up. Anyway, mine went into the downloads folder, which is here. So what I want to do is take this and we'll copy it, or you can move it. You can right click it, cut, copy, however you want to do it. And then we'll come into our documents, my games, farming simulator, 2025, mods folder and then we'll paste it into here and then start the game and it will show up in your mods list so anything you put in this mods folder will show up in the mods list uh, now if the mods broke or something doesn't work right with it then it won't show up now if you want a better way to kind of keep track of your mods and uh organize them and all that good stuff let's say you're on multiple servers you can create multiple folders and all that stuff fsg mod assistant is the way to go i'll make some other videos on it um uh, at the time of this video i'm waiting for an update to it before i start kind of showing all the features because there's a couple little things with fs25 we're still working on but overall it's it does work for fs25 so definitely use it um I'll set my folder active here so the, the mod I put in the mods folder is now showing up in here. And another cool thing with this mod assistant is it, it scans these files and looks for known malicious issues. Now, it doesn't have virus protection or anything like that. So make sure that you scan your uh, mods for viruses when you download them. But it will tell you if it's got some kind of issues. It'll show a warning if it'll if it has a script that's known to try to delete stuff, which is nice. But anyway, when you're downloading third-party mods, be extra careful what you're downloading and don't trust anybody. That's pretty much what it boils down to. I get all my mods from the official mod hub. Every now and then I'll kind of dabble into some other mods, but most of the time when I start messing with other mods, that's when the game starts having issues because, well, mods that are not put on the mod hub are usually not as... Uh, what do you call it, detailed as the mods that we're used to, but it's kind of a use at your own risk kind of situation. So anyway, uh, if there's anything else you guys would like me to cover, if you have any questions about mods or anything like that, feel free to join our Discord, ask them in the comments, let us know what you think. How do you download your mods? Where, where do you get your mods from? And all that good stuff. So hey, appreciate you watching. Have a good day.
Don't forget to subscribe.